I have already opened the Wizard Pro software and I had clicked file and new and the screen popped out. Now I want to import the dummy Excel file that I had created for patients admitted with chronic subdural who underwent Burhol evacuation. So to import Excel file, you click on this import data icon and you can see here the fictional chronic subdural data file. I'll open it and the file has now been imported. Let's ensure that the columns have been uh, attributed to the appropriate categories. So I'll click on age, control, I'm using a Mac, so control click over age and it should show it's a number. That's great. Now control click over gender and it treats as categories, that's fine. Control click over size, treat as satisfactory uh, as a um, category. Control click mid line shift and this should be number, that's fine. And control click over drain and it should be at the moment, it's, I think it's numeric. Let's um, make sure it's treated as categories. And same for aspirin, treat as categories. And reop, treat as categories. The Wizard Pro has a pivot table feature. For that, you have to click this icon. However, in this tutorial, I'm not going to dwell on, dwell on that. Uh, the purpose of this tutorial is to show you multivariate multivariate analysis using uh, wizard pro so to do that uh, let's uh, go to summary so this gives the summary statistics and uh, we can then choose our outcome variable and the covariate to go on to create a model so let's start by clicking summary so when we click summary, the summary window pops out. So on the left hand side, you can see the variables. And on the right hand side, variables, but they are now covariates. And if I just click age, you can see a histogram on this window. It also gives you the mean and the standard deviation. Um, and um, we can do similarly for each variable this is for gender this is the observed uh, portion for females and males in our sample and this is the confidence interval the white area is the confidence interval for the males and females and the side similarly midline shift Estimated mean 12.579 mean, with a standard deviation drain. So, um, aspirin and reop. So, our actual um, outcome variable is the reop. So, we want to then compare that to each of the other variables to see whether they are associated. So, if you click age. The software itself categorizes the age into four different age groups and um, looking at the p-value the um, if you click this one then we get a p-value uh, and that is 0 0.040 so that means that um, the reoperation and age are dependent in some way. Let's see gender. The p value here is 0 0.210, so that's greater than 0 0.05. So then these two variables are independent. Side, once again, the variables are independent. Midline shift, the p value is 0 0.331. The these variables are independent 
having the drain once again that's independent what about aspirin the p value is 0 0.37 so these two variables have an association so we will uh, choose the age and um, the aspirin um, to create a model so to do that we first of all have to click this uh, button to lock the window and once you have done that then you can click on the variables that you think have an influence on the outcome variable so we thought from our previous analysis that age and uh, aspirin had effect on reoperation so now let's click on build model the build model window is brought out and we can see the two variables that we had thought played an influence in the reoperation uh, rate uh, that have been brought over to the build model window however uh, you can only see the significance um, marker of green against aspirin so now let's um, go ahead and um, build the model Pre go to uh, predict when we click predict then um, a model has been created uh, for reoperation rate based on age and aspirin so if we increase the age let's say the patient age is um, let's say 75 and the patient does not take aspirin the predicted chance of reoperation uh, uh, being zero that's no risk of uh, reoperation is 77.2 percent however for the same patient if the patient was on aspirin just before the time of the operation then the predicted chance of not needing a reoperation falls down to 34.5 percent so that means that uh, the patient who is 75 and who is on aspirin according to our model multivariate analysis using this model the patient has a 65.5% percent 5.5% risk of reoperation so let's now increase the age to 85 then with the patient not on aspirin the chance of not needing to reoperate is 55.2 percent with the patient on aspirin just prior to the operation the chance of not needing a reoperation is 16.1 percent that is the chance of reoperation 83.9 percent as I told you earlier the data set is a dummy data set and so please do not draw any conclusions from this analysis but the purpose of this uh, tutorial is to illustrate the power of wizard pro so what I have shown you here is how to import a excel file into wizard pro how to ensure that each column has been categorized appropriately the, the type of data then use the summary window to see which covariates have an influence on the outcome variable then use the model window and then predict window to create a model to be able to predict uh, the outcome variable depending on the covariates so you can see how elegant responsive and responsive wizard pro is what you have to appreciate is there are many different ways of doing multivariate analysis and there are 
is plenty of nuances to it. What Wizard Pro allows is the basic multivariate analysis. This is a useful tool for getting a basic idea of your data. However, you will need a professional statistician to look over to make sure that you have done the appropriate test. I hope you have found this tutorial useful and gives you ideas to analyze your existing data or data that you will generate from any research that you will undertake. Thank you very much and wishing you a good day. Bye for now.